everyone, welcome, welcome. My name's Charlie, and today I'm gonna to be playing some more Stardew Valley Expanded. So now it is winter, which is pretty good timing because it's also winter in real life. I'm thinking that in the winter, I wanna get like a Christmas tree and get some festive stuff put around, but I don't really know if I can do that. I'm gonna just use my scythe here because everyone was yelling at me last time for using a pickaxe, rightfully so. All right. So, I think the first thing that we should do is perhaps, uh, okay, so my goals are going to be to upgrade my house and get more mills. I'm pretty sure I have most of the materials for the upgrade, I just need the money. I think it costs like 50,000 or something stupid like that. Oh, I just remembered something. So I've been informed that... If you get the galaxy sword, all the other galaxy weapons are unlocked in the adventurer's guild. So I'm- What? You found something. A what did I find? Oh, okay, cool. So the thing I actually want is a dagger. Oh, $35,000? Are you joking me? Oh my gosh. I need to like get a house. I have a family to feed. Well, not yet, but I will. The galaxy sword is usually my weapon of choice, but I really want the galaxy dagger this playthrough. I don't know why, I just kind of used a dagger for the first time and I was like, this is pretty cool. Perish? Oh! It's not even five yet. This is a tumultuous first day back. I don't have any way to explain my behavior. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Yoba. It's okay. It's okay, we're in a better place now. All right, no we're not. Ah! Aha! Stop! Okay. <gasps> Woo, Crocus! Okay, okay. Let's go finish that bundle so we can feel better about ourselves. Shall we? So we finished this bundle, which means we now have the bridge to the quarry unlocked. I'm gonna do my very best not to fill it with kegs or preserve jars. I'm looking for someone who's adept at crafting and won't ask any questions. Drop off 30 cherry bombs. What on earth? Nah, I'm gonna go to Skull Caverns and ignore that. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna try not to die today. I'm gonna look at my health bar. A little more. Let's see. Is there anything to talk about while I'm just mining away down here? Um, uh, I am not a movie person. Like, I don't really watch TV that much. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But I'm so excited in the movie department right now. We've got the secrets, the the lies and secrets of of Dumby Dumb. I don't remember what it's called. The secrets of Dumbledore or something. The next Fantastic Beasts. I wasn't like the biggest fan of the first two just because they it, they seemed kind of useless. I didn't really understand what the point was, but ouch. But I've got to say, after watching the trailer, I'm so hyped. And also the next Spider-Man movie, of course, I'm really excited for just because like it's going to be amazing no matter what it's about. Like I don't even need to know. I'm just going to have the time of my life. A funny story about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, when it first came out, I watched it and it like, it resonated with me very deeply. Like I was in the middle of like college decision and all these different things in my life where it was like, you know, a lot of pressure. And watching that movie, especially the scene where he's like tied to the chair and then he like breaks free and goes and helps all the other Spider-Man dimensional people. Like that, I cried almost. <laughs> and like. I loved that movie so much. I saw it in theaters, I think five or six times. And like anybody, all my friends, I would be like, have you seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Do you want to go tonight? And they'd just be like, okay. And I, I saw it so many times. Oh my God, half the box office profits were probably just me dragging all my friends and family to see it. I really love it though. Seeing it in theaters was such an experience, even like the sixth time, like it was just so cool. Another cool movie I saw in theaters was Doctor Strange. I thought that was a pretty good movie. I saw it in 3D. I'm pretty- Oh, 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 oh! Prismatic Shard! Ha, ha, ha! Oh my gosh! 
I'm blessed. Yeah, I saw it in theaters with my friend and we decided to go see it in 3D. It was trippy. Like, all the, the way all the walls move and like the buildings and everything, I like, I, I didn't even know if I was conscious at some point. So I was like, thought I was drifting, you know? So yeah, that's, those are my opinions. I, uh. Oh! Why am I so lucky, dude? People are gonna think I'm cheating. Stop making me look bad. Another fun fact about me and my life is that one time my grandma forced me to enter a Halloween competition. I can't tell this story without laughing. My grandma forced me to enter this like Halloween competition. What was I even talking about? Oh, right, yeah, I wanted to be Harry Potter. Ooh, a hole. What was that? A little. I didn't catch a squid. I didn't do that. All right, I'm not sure. <gasps> My bridge is repaired. I totally forgot. Whoa! That's a lot of money. Okay. All right, so we only have $10,000 left to get before we can do the house upgrade. So I just have to go back to Skull Caverns probably like once or twice. Oh, I have a chicken, I totally forgot. Oh my God, there's mayo down here. I am such a terrible owner. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're like fine. Victor is doing my job for me. Uh. Oh yeah, another Harry Potter story about my life. Ah! Eh. Okay, yeah. So, my grandma entered me into this Halloween competition, blah 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 yada, and I wanted to be Harry Potter. And I've always thought of myself as a Hermione kind of person because I'm so studious and like a perfectionist and, you know, really follow the rules and everything like that. But I just wanted to be Harry Potter. I don't know why, I just did. But yeah, I dye my hair black. I like draw the little scar on and everything and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I've successfully masked my identity and become Harry Potter as one seeks to do on Halloween. And I go to the thing and it's like really like too big for a Halloween competition. Like there's a massive stage. It's like an auditorium, like the auditorium in the place I live. So I go and I'm like on stage terrified because there's like a, an absurd amount of people for a Halloween competition. And <laughs> I go on stage and they're like, what are you? And I was like, I'm Harry Potter. And then, <laughs> sorry, I'm like having a stroke right now. I'm in the middle of a very, I just realized I'm like half dead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold that thought, hold that thought. Just a mo, just a mo. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're never gonna hear this story. You're never gonna know what happened to me. Okay, so yeah, there she's like, go stand next to the Hermione. And I was like, okay. And I go stand next to Hermione. And like, I was so scared because I was just on a stage like in a line of people. Ah! I didn't see that guy coming. <laughs> in a line of people just like dressed up and <laughs> And then I'm pretty sure, I don't remember exactly what she said, but she said something like, what a, what a cute young boy, or like, what a cute little boy or something. And I was just standing there and I was so embarrassed because I was like, I'm a girl, what? But I mean, like, <laughs> I guess that means I did a good job, you know? I was a convincing Harry Potter if she thought that I was a young, young man. And you know, I feel like Harry Potter is a fitting thing to talk about because I know other people don't think so, but I feel like I respect the Christmas vibes of the first Harry Potter movie. Like when he opens the invisibility cloak and they have like Mrs. Weasley's sweaters on and he's like, bloody hell, that's an invisibility cloak. And Harry puts it on and he's like, my head is gone, where's my body gone, Ron? It's like a whole thing, you know, it's like a little Christmas miracle. Is this just a normal thing now? Like this is gonna happen every single day? I guess so. Oh, Gunther. Good morning, Miss Charlie. I hope it's not too early. 
Well, I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I've just received a letter from the Office of the Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We've been good- uh, uh, We're uh, We're being honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. You'll be receiving a portion of it in the mail soon. Okay. We'll be seeing much more of each other soon. Good day, Miss Charlie. So... So what? I hid something behind the community center? What? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna like... What? Ah! What is happening? Marlin? What are you doing? Oh! <gasps> What? Does this mean I can go now? Oh my gosh, so much to do. My brain is frazzled. I can't go in! Why would you show me that then? Okay, so we now have enough gallers. Holy. What the? 40,000 gallers? Do you normally get that much money for. What, what was that even for? What? Well, all right. We've got some stuff to do. First things first, I'm gonna chop some hardwood and then head to Robin's to get the upgrade for my house. Hey, I know what materials I need, so let's get right to business. 150 pieces of hardwood, 600 pieces of stone, 50 iron bars, and 20 battery packs? Robin, what kind of scam operation are you running? Something interesting, actually, that some of you are commenting is that the shed has a greenhouse implemented into it. So I'm thinking if I do get those materials, maybe I can just use that as a greenhouse and I won't need the regular greenhouse. Or I could have double greenhouse and I could have double spaghetti ingredients. I still have like $50,000 after getting that upgrade, so I think I'm gonna purchase the Galaxy Dagger. I think it's time. Alright, so... Where is it? Galaxy Dagger. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. Oh, I did it. I'm even gonna sell this one, I think. I don't really want it. I'm actually so happy. I'm gonna go to Skull Caverns just to test it out, see how it goes. Okay, I need to stab something. Can somebody please come forward so I can stab you? Oh, let's go. Yes. All right, so I think the move for today is gonna be to open some of these geodes. I really wanna get the key to the sewer just so I can get to Krobus and like unlock some of the end game things. So that's my goal for the day. Like I said before, I also want to get more mills, but I feel like having the napalm ring would make it so much easier because I really don't want to waste my bombs on the mummies. I think we have, what is this? 5, 10, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19. I lost my train of thought. 1, 2, 3. It's like time is passing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 4, 64. So we need a couple more minerals and a lot of artifacts. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Oh, this one. This one too perplexes me, but I'm gonna do this one. Two street lights is where we need to start out. So let's see. We gotta go right, down, left, down, left, down, check mark. Okay, something, there must be another spot. Left, down, check mark. No, this is going all wrong. How about these two? Right, down, left, down. Nope, I'm not doing it. Okay, so let's see. What are our goals for right now? We want to get more mills and we have zero cloth. Also, a shed over there that needs repairing and it requires like a bajillion materials so there's that i think i'm gonna ignore that for now just for my mental health there's also this quest with all the bombs i need 30 cherry bombs how 
Can I make 30 cherry bombs? That's like a lot of resources. Okay, well I, I did it. 10. No, you're joking! Oh my god, you're kidding me! I need one more bomb. Come on. This is this is a sick joke. I cannot believe that just happened. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what have we learned? We've learned that I suck. We already knew that, but we've learned again. Okay. Where meh. I'm gonna I can't go to the desert. I'm gonna go to the mines, just the regular mines, and try to get a single solar essence. Solar essence. Nope. Okay. Solar essence. Yes! I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna go drop those bombs off. Wait, no, I'm not. It's 6 a.m. and they open at 12. Oh, it's a person. Alicia. Alicia. Alessia. I don't know. Oh, you must be Charlie, the new adventurer Marlin told me so much about. My name is Alicia. Alessia. Alicia. Oh, this. This is what I'm here for. I totally forgot. Yay. 8,000 buckaroonies. There's something I've been meaning to show you. It's time you meet Krobus. They're a shadow person I've been hiding in the Pelican Town sewers. Oh? You've proven your trust to me. This is a key to the sewers. Until now, only Magnus, Gill, and I had a copy. Now you do too. See, this makes so much more sense than Gunther giving it to you. Like, this is so cool. So there's really no reason for me to get the star drop. I'm just not gonna. Hey, Abigail, watch this. Wait, Vincent, go away. Hey, Abigail. This is you. Wait, no. No! This is- this is you. <laughs> Get wrecked. Live in large. The festival. Let's see, is there anything good to buy? I don't even remember. Oh! This is exactly what I needed! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, I just spent all my money. Well, why did I do that? Why did I buy five of them? I have no control. Begin! Okay, nothing's happening. Get out of here, tree. I have a better tree. Yay! Wait, yay! Oh yeah, it is real festive in here now. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna find out what this secret note means. Right, down, left, down, left, down, check. Okay. Two street lamps. This is still right down, left, down, right down, left, right down, left, down. Uh, there's street lamps here, but there's like stuff here. Doesn't that mean I like it's like empty? Is that just interpretive? Like, is that just modern art? Is that an artistic decision? Down, check. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I'll just put it here for now. That's a nice spot. I still needed to kill more serpents to get the napalm ring, so I decided to go to Skull Caverns for the rest of the day. Uh, another one? I'm hatching a dinosaur. Ah! <laughs> what was that noise? Oh my gosh, I've never made such a noise. You can probably tell by how actually psychotic I am, but I am so tired. Oh my gosh! What is this? Lewis hired me to get rid of this boulder. It's gonna require an explosive that packs a punch. Problem is, the materials I need to make it aren't exactly easy to come by. I'm I'm sure they're not. You'll help me out, that's kind of you. Meet me at my house, we can go over the list of materials I need. 
Okay, go to Clint's house. Time to go to Clint's house. Uh, 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 Clint's house. Let's go. Dude, what is wrong with me? Actually. Oh, hey, Charlie. Sorry, didn't hear you over the furnace. I need coil and iridium. Coil? What the? I need coal and iridium ore to make a bomb powerful enough to destroy that boulder. You can drop off the materials in that crate to your right. There, but what crate? Literally what? This crate? That is barely a crate. That? This? Yeah, that. Okay. What do I need? That's, that's child's play. I can bring that to you in like two seconds flat. Watch me. After I make this coffee. Okay. Cool. Iridium. Let's go. That was the easiest quest I've ever had, Clint. Do better next time. Oh my gosh. Those are all the bombs I gave you? I'm scared. These bombs are in exceptional condition. Thank you for your service, Charlie. A wizard from Castle Village is arriving here any moment to retrieve them. Holy Christ. Oh. That was so loud. The bombs you came for are ready, courtesy of Charlie here who created them. Allow me to inspect them. Okay, you don't you don't respect my work, you don't trust me. I put my blood, sweat, and iron into those. Yes, these bombs will serve Castle Villagers Vanguard well. Impeccable craftsmanship. It rivals Bex's work. Who the heck is Bex? Ah Oh my god. Holy, stop doing that. That's so loud. I really genuinely love that Victor just does all the chores. What did that, hello? What? Okay, so what is on the agenda for this fine Thursday morning? Um, stop barking, please. So George, stop. Thank you. So we've got to make our mayonnaise, of course. There's no eggs. Cool. Rookie farmer. What the heck? An explosion was heard in the morning. Is someone, like, dead? Oh! Was it Clint removing the boulder? That seems a lot more likely. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. Oh! <gasps> It was the boulder! Oh my gosh, what is up here? Oh my gosh. Wait, what? It's just a summit. What? Why am I allowed here? I haven't completed the game yet. It is nice though. Hiya! There are a lot of noises! Oh, I didn't see that! So we got a decent amount of gems, and we also got one cloth, so... You know, quite the haul. I've decided that I'm tired of mining in Skull Caverns, so I'm just gonna do some fishing for today. Maybe try and catch a sturgeon. Oh! Well, that was easy. <gasps> Thank you! Oh, I don't know what to do with it. So today is gonna be a Skull Cavern day because I still need to collect cloth for Mills, but I'm also gonna grab some spaghetti to bring just cause I don't really have that much food to eat and I kinda don't wanna die. We are back and ready to rumble. I'm trying to think and I don't really know what other Christmassy holiday things I can do on the farm. I mean, is there like any other items I can get? I don't, I don't think so. I have a tree. I have five, actually. Is that enough? Ah! The entire right-hand corner of my screen is a blind spot for me right now because, like I said, I've been having technical issues and everything is all janky and... Uh, uh. But yeah, so whenever a serpent comes from that side, I just can't see it and it scares me like five times more. Get me out of this situation, please. Uh, Yoba, if you're listening, can you please just lend a little hand down here? No. No, 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 oh, oh, no, no, <laughs> no,
no comment. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I was looking at my phone. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Keep calm. Nothing happened. You know, I wanted to do like a holiday special kind of thing, but like... I don't really know what to do for that. Like, I bought my Christmas tree. What else do you do on Christmas? You like... You eat food. You give gifts. I could give gifts. No. Ew. I don't want to do that. I've already experienced the gift of life. I'm giving birth to a child. You know, one of my Christmas traditions ever since I was like 10 years old is to play the mini clip game Deep Freeze. It's basically a game where you're Santa Claus, but you have a water gun and there are like all these different bosses and enemies and you have to shoot them with your water gun and you get all these different power ups and stuff. And there's like a giant ice cream and things like that. I don't know. And it's kind of fun and like i don't know i just played it one year on christmas when i was like 10 and then every year since christmas rolls around and my brain is like it's time for deep freeze let's see are there any other fun stories that i can tell this is just ah 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 got me in my blind spot man let's see well another fun development in my life is that while all my technology has been breaking chronically, I did get an upgraded chair. For the past like year, my chair for doing work has been like one of those school chairs that's like metal and has plastic on the back. Like those really uncomfortable ones that you had to sit in like all through middle school and high school. Yeah, those ones. So now I have a chair that's like, first of all, padded and cushy. But also it spins and it's like curved so it fits your back better or something. I don't know if I have many stories to tell. My life for the past month has been like massive continuous technological and personal failure and getting a new chair. Okay, so we're at the night market. First things first, I'm gonna get some coffee. Okay, I received coffee. And then what's the- Oh! These are such good Christmas decorations! Not these so much, but the candy canes! Oh, this is- this is good. This is great. That looks dumb, but I'll keep it. Maybe I'll just like, sprinkle them all around wherever I see fit. Toss one up here. Put one over there. We'll put some- Tiny candy canes up there. Put some more over here. Hello, what do you think of my decor? Okay, you're not gonna comment. That's all right. I respect that decision. So we've done some decorating. Now it's disgustingly Christmassy on the farm, which means I've done my job correctly. I also had an idea for a thing that I wanted to do inside the house. So I'm gonna go do that. Well, I have this fish tank. I'm gonna put it right here. And inside this fish tank, I'm going to place as many butterfish as I can fit. Which is three. Okay, I, did th I thought I could put more in there. I have decorated. I have uh, done more decorating. And I think what I'm going to do now is return to Skull Caverns and continue trying to get the napalm ring. Okay. That was a lot for the first second in the caverns today. Uh, I'm going to die. That didn't help me. Bum ba dum ba bum bum bum. And it's always going to be an uphill battle and sometimes you're going to have to lose and right now I'm losing. As you can probably tell, because I'm literally delirious. What is wrong with me? You know, I wanted this to be a holiday-y kind of episode, like a little, little special thing. But I think that the biggest gift I can give to you this Christmas is to leave in all of this random stuff that I'm saying. Because like, it just comes out of my mouth and then I like snap back into consciousness and I'm like, why would I say that? Like, where did- what recesses of my brain did that just crawl out of? 
For the next couple days, I spent most of my time in Skull Caverns collecting cloth, and eventually, I gathered enough to make a new mill. I think for the most part, I accomplished all the goals that I set for the winter, so really the only thing left to do is just grind for the napalm ring. I don't exactly know how many serpents I have left before I get it, but I'm just praying it's not that many. <laughs> Probably should have checked. <gasps> Cake! Wait, this kind of sucks. You know, every day I get here and I just think to myself, I really should have checked how many serpents I have left before I get the ring. But I never do it. Wait, what? I had it the whole time? What? I actually cannot believe that. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a lot of cloth that I probably missed out on, but we're just gonna let it go. Okay, so it turns out that we already got the napalm ring like 20 years ago, so that's great. I think that the Feast of the Winter Star is coming up tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow. I have George, so I'm just gonna give him a cheeky little leak, you know. I've just realized that the mummies themselves don't explode. You need to explode another enemy around them, kind of like that, which isn't ideal, but also at the same time, I feel like it'll still make it a bunch easier to get cloth. Merry Winter Star, love. I have a very special present for you later tonight. Interesting. I'm excited to see what that is. Krobus never gave me gifts on the Winter Star Day. Hello, everyone. Merry Winter Star. Merry Chris Star. Merry Christmas. Mm. Not gonna do it. I want to do it, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I just bought some of these decorations. I'm gonna hang them up in my house because I feel like even though the outside of the house is really festive, the inside is kind of lacking right now. Hey Charlie, I have a gift for you at home. I'll show you tonight, okay? I'm like more excited for that than the Winter Star Festival. Uh, here, here's your leak. Who did I get? Oh, Andy, it's, it's you. I feel like he got me like a piece of trash or something. Oh, Blackberry Cobbler. You know, that's not too bad. Okay, I'm going home now. I just want to see what Victor got me. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. Stay calm. Wait, he's asleep. What the hell? Wake up! Where's my gift? Is this a joke? I am gonna angrily decorate the house. Wait, so I just don't get- I just don't get my Christmas gift? Is that- that's what's going on here. So he just like hypes it up all day and says like, oh, I have a really good gift for you. And then like the gift is just his presence or whatever. Like, is that really it? He's just asleep. I can't, give me my gift, wake up. Wake up, you said you had a gift for me. So disappointed. Like there's nothing I could have done, right? Because it just, you go home at a standard time, like you're, you're just not gonna give me my gift? What on earth? Okay, that's fine. Didn't want a gift anyway, I guess. I'm just gonna chop down trees because I'm actually very upset. There's nothing I could have done about that, right? Am I in denial? I don't even know. After that massive disappointment, I decided to spend the last couple days of winter collecting materials I could use to make more buildings in the spring. I didn't have any like big plans, but I figured that getting a barn to have some cows could be a good idea and also upgrading my chicken coop. I'm pretty sure that most of the endgame stuff for the Stardew Expanded mod begins after you complete the community center and I only have a couple bundles left to go. Before I finish up for the day, I just wanted to answer this question from Sheehan, I think it is. If I butchered your name, I'm so sorry. So they had asked who my all-time favorite marriage candidate is in the game and Honestly, Victor is my favorite. I know he's not in the base game, but like 
I didn't really have much of an interest in any of the bachelors or bachelorettes until I got the star to expanded and saw Victor and I was like, oh my gosh, I, I want to marry him tomorrow. Like, I don't think I've ever been in a relationship with a human, only Krobus in my 100 Days series. I'd say if I had to choose, uh, they had said theirs is Penny. I feel like that's a solid choice. Penny is pretty cool. Um, that, that would probably be my choice for a bachelorette, but for a bachelor, um, uh, I don't really have any qualms with like Elliot or Sebastian or Sam. I'm not the biggest Shane fan. I chronically forget Harvey exists. I don't know if that counts as an answer, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. Also, if you'd be interested in talking with me or other people who like Stardew Valley and such, you should definitely join my Discord because it's a fun time. Alright, that's all I've got for today. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you all have a really, really great rest of 2021, and I'll probably see you in the new year. Bye!